Hey everybody, it's Minius, and if you've been paying close attention to Mass Effect Andromeda, over the last year and a half or so, you know that we haven't gotten much in the way of official information from Bioware or Electronic Arts regarding this game. We've been left with a number of leaks and some very solid fan theories formed off of the scraps of information that we have been given. But recently, Bioware revealed some of their game and had key figures give some interviews afterwards, divulging additional information. This information mostly confirmed things that we saw in leaks or guessed ahead of time, but I figured I'd break down the recent confirmations and get into what they might mean for Mass Effect Andromeda, starting with theories and then moving on to leaks in the following video. Let's start with community theories regarding the Ryder family. Back in June, it was revealed that the main character, Ryder, had a family that plays a role in the game. Now, many people speculated that this meant your traditional Bioware male-female protagonist choice was between a pair of siblings. And that is correct. What? In an interview with Holly Bennett of PlayStation Access, after the gameplay reveal, Mass Effect creative director Mac Walters talked about how the character from the gameplay was the male writer, and the character from the EA Play trailer was the female writer, and then said, quote, What a lot of people don't know, a little surprise here, is that these two are brother and sister, and they both exist in the game world at the same time. So if you're playing as the sister writer, female writer, you know, your brother is somewhere in the universe. So writer, brother, sister confirmed. One thing that's worth pointing out here is that he said the other sibling was somewhere in the universe, and to me this implies that your sibling does not travel with you as a member of your crew, and instead is somewhere else, possibly in an important yet distant role. But there are practical reasons that your sibling won't spend a ton of time with you. First, many people will be doing multiple playthroughs, trying out both siblings, and if the other writer is there with you with a set personality, it will damper your ability to put your own stamp on that character during your next playthrough. Second, and perhaps more practically, swapping out writers, having actors record more lines, having two different characters playing a large role in the story but in completely separate versions is really complicated. Perhaps the bigger reveal came from Walters right after that, where he said, quote, And another fun little tidbit is that the character we saw two E3s ago in the N7 is actually their father. So we've got the full Ryder family finally revealed. We'll do names and things in the future as well. Ryder father confirmed. Now this is something I had in a previous video from a few months earlier, and I'm sure several more people came to that conclusion on their own. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. But what does a Ryder father mean for the story? Because most heroic and primary characters in storytelling do not have their parents in the picture. Seriously, think of your favorite characters in fiction. Perhaps the most famous current example of that is Batman, but you don't have to look further than Commander Shepard from the original trilogy, because the Commander's parents are not around. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn? but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. Or maybe... She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. Or you can have the Shepard parents be part of the military, but they don't show up at all except for a mention of Shepard's mom in Mass Effect 3, and then a quick extranet chat in the Citadel DLC. This lack of parents or really parental figures actually serves a function. It forces the hero to do things on their own. I expect the Ryder father not to play a constant role in the story of whatever Ryder sibling you choose to play as, at the very least not as a guiding figure. Perhaps he even gets killed early on. Mass Effect Andromeda is supposed to be a story of your Ryder becoming a hero. Developers have pretty much said as much. The stories, really throughout all of human history, that have done the best at telling this hero's journey do not have parents in the picture. Stepping sideways, Walters acknowledged the Ryder dad, brother, and sister, saying the full family is finally revealed. Now, most of you are familiar with how babies are born. There's a mother needed, and since she's not mentioned as part of the full family, she's probably dead. There's a real chance she's been dead for a while, too, going back to that picture in the N7 Day trailer, which features three people, not four. 
Once again, adding to the fact that the parents of heroes, which let's assume your rider will be at the end of this game, are usually not around. Perhaps the most popular theory regarding Mass Effect Andromeda was the use of an Ark ship containing many species from the Milky Way and sent off to the Andromeda galaxy to preserve life and civilization and stuff. In the N7 Day trailer last year, we got this shot of a single ship. In the EA Play trailer a couple months ago, we got this shot of transports leaving a planet, loading up a ship just like that one, possibly with more in the background. Check out this quote from Bioware General Manager Aaron Flynn speaking with the PlayStation blog Sid Schumann right after the reveal, talking about Mass Effect Andromeda. Everything's going to be new for you there. The only familiar things are the things that humanity brought with them on these arcs. These giant ships they come in. So, arcs confirmed. You might have noticed here that he specifically said humans. Earlier in the interview, he said that you and a lot of other humans have fled the Milky Way, then added other races have pitched in too. It's impossible to tell from that quote the degree that these other races have pitched in. Andromeda has been called a human story. Maybe fewer aliens made the trip than we think. Or maybe other species traveled to Andromeda separately. This journey to Andromeda doesn't seem to be the multi-alien coalition to preserve life that many expected. The implication here is that a heavy emphasis will be put on the new stuff in the Andromeda galaxy instead of the old stuff from the Milky Way galaxy, which, when it comes down to it, is pretty exciting. Let's get into the final theory that goes along with this somewhat. I call it the early exit theory. It's got other names. I don't care what you'd call it. But the gist is that those who left the Milky Way galaxy did so before the ending of Mass Effect 3. We know that these people are fleeing. Earlier quotes from Mac Walters confirmed that the endings of Mass Effect 3 will not impact Andromeda. So, early exit theory, heavily inferred. There's a little bit of wiggle room here that denies an outright confirmation. But this early exit theory looks extremely likely, now with multiple key figures from Bioware hinting at it. I suppose a question is still, why are these people fleeing? I feel confident that they're fleeing the Reapers who have successfully and repeatedly culled ancient civilizations for about a billion years. There is a chance it's something else. One idea that's been tossed out there goes back to an old trilogy plotline that the writers moved away from involving dark energy. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. The dark energy destruction stuff had to do with how the use of element zero, including biotics, releases dark energy which accumulates to endanger the galaxy. I don't think it's likely because Mass Effect is largely Mass Effect because of Ezo and the use of Mass Effect technology, but there's still a chance here. So those are some major theory confirmations. Many more things though from the leaks that we've got into have been confirmed, so stick around for my next video when we'll look at all of the leaks and check out just how accurate they've been so far. And if you like this video, please give it a like. It really helps out the channel. Keep an eye on Minius GC for more Mass Effect videos. But for now... Hey, welcome to the I should go now. <laughs>